At the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Biscayne Nature Center, we are dedicated to environmental education. We also strive to encourage greater citizen participation in the protection of our natural environment. And that's two sea stars, one right there, one right here. Sea my favorite thing about the Nature Center is that it's just so hands-on. It's a lot of fun to come out to the Nature Center. You get to go in the ocean, you get to hold and touch different kinds of animals, you get to learn things you've never learned before, and you get to be outside, which is probably the best part of coming to the center. Okay, life vest, life vest, come on boys. My name is Theodora Long and I'm the Executive Director of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Biscayne Nature Center. The center started back in 1969. A group of Dade County school teachers found it difficult to teach about nature in the classroom. We said, wouldn't it be great if we could take the kids out to Cranland Park? They live less than five miles from here in Overtown, Little Havana, Liberty City. And when they come over the Key Biscayne Bridge, they, they have no idea that Biscayne Bay is there near the ocean. And then when we take them down to the beach and they hold a puff of fish in their hand or a sea star, their eyes are just like we've turned them on to something that they never knew existed. Okay, what kind of animals did we say live in the seagrass beds? Baby, 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 baby animals, good. What's another word for young or baby? Juvenile. Okay, these are juvenile green razor fish. I caught them. So that's what the mystery fish is. That's what the mystery fish is. I feel so lucky with my class um, because they've got like three hours or four hours experiencing things that they never have. And I just saw my students out there, they're saying, we don't want to ever leave. And they just recount everything that they're learning and um, they're just so enthused. And I know that this experience is really going to have an impact on their lives. This is going to be formative. And that's what's so wonderful about this program. When I take those children out in the water and they either learn how to swim for the first time or they see an animal that they've never seen before, that moment of excitement, that moment of like, oh, I can't believe this, it's just, I just live vicariously through them. And I get to experience that same feeling that I had when I was a little kid through them. I remember as a kid coming to the Nature Center and loving it, it's a lot of fun. I recommend it to anybody who even wants to volunteer. It's good to be back. Uh, that was Marjorie's big thing, is that the children are the future, and they need to preserve it, and then they need to teach their children to preserve it, and then it will be here for forevermore. We're celebrating 25 years since Marjorie Stoneman Douglas started the not-for-profit group, but the program's been going on since 1969. Ooh, it is through your grants and donations that make all of this possible. We encourage you to visit the Nature Center and learn more about our programs. If you would like to sponsor one of our programs, please give us a call or visit our website at BiscayneNatureCenter.org. We look forward to seeing you at the Nature Center soon. Whatever the universe is, I believe it is one. And this fragile shoreline with its mangroves, coastal hammock, and ancient reef is a precious part of very little that still survives of our unique environment. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas.